Hey everybody, here's a story from Eurogamer about the Last of Us 2 or Part 2 leaks. Uh, this is brought to us by Jason Schreier as well as a Twitter handle Pixel Butts. So essentially what Jason's saying is after talking to two people with direct knowledge of how The Last of Us 2 Part 2 leaked as well as some Naughty Dog employees, I have a good idea of what happened. Short version, hackers found a security vulnerability in a patch for an older Naughty Dog game and use it to get access to Naughty Dog servers. Okay, so how would that have happened? How would that work? So he has other things to say, which are a little questionable um, based on his analysis. So I think the footage that leaked is from devs playing an early build. I haven't watched it. Most importantly, rumors of this being an act of protest by a contractor whose pay was robbed are not true. Uh, Naughty Dog actually extended pay and healthcare benefits for contractors due to COVID. So if you anything about contractors, they don't get benefits, to my knowledge. I haven't seen a contract that I've been involved in, or at least in the industry, where they will give you health pay or any other kind of benefits associated with your contract, because contractors are contractors. They do things for a short amount of time for very specific reasons. Um, so either they sign a full-time uh, agreement, which they should just technically put you on salary anyway, and your agreement will be for a year, and you would get benefits. You would get all the, the, nor the normal things that a, a salaried worker would get. So either his terminology is, is strange or maybe the video game industry is very good with benefits. I've never seen that in any other industry. If that's the case, I might consider jumping around. But <laughs> never seen a contractor ever get benefits. So I don't know what's going on there. So this just continues to talk about all the, the many details therein. Now, the interesting thing is with Pixel Butts is he reported on the story seven hours before Mr. Jason Schreier did. This is May the 3rd, uh, 6.30 in the morning. This is May the 2nd at uh, tw almost 12 at night. So, and he goes about some of the technical details of what could have happened here. And I know a little bit about this as well, so I could probably provide some insight. For those of you interested in The Last of Us 2 leaks and how it happened, here's our rundown. I have no idea how many tweets with this will buckle, so buckle up. Every Naughty Dog game has a final patch that is pushed to the game that contains an Amazon AWS key that when paired with a secret bucket ID, it will give full access to the server's contents. There's a different key in bucket ID per game. This is important. So either they're talking about FTPing or SSHing into a server. And for or, or for that to happen, you have to have a private and public key. In this case, it seems like a public key for AWS. If you don't know what AWS is, it's Amazon Web Services. And Amazon Web Services is one of the cheapest and most robust web service solutions out there. So if you want to make a website, whether you want to use an IIS server or a Linux box with Apache or Nginx or whatever uh, web configuration you've got to host a website, uh, Amazon is the most competitive place to host stuff, whether it's files, a website, you want to use it for, for streaming audio or data, you could do all kinds of things with it. So you basically sign up for AWS, you, you create an instance of the server you want, like Ubuntu or IAS, and boom, you can do whatever you like, and there you go. In order to connect to that, there's all these methods, but the simplest way is just to get a, a private and public key, and that's it. You copy it over, and you can connect to the server. This vulnerability was discovered recently, and some hackers took full advantage of it, saving The Last of Us 1, Uncharted 3, and other dev stuff. So that sounds like last year, if not several years ago, unless they kept on their servers uh, dev builds of The Last of Us and Uncharted 3 from years ago. It's, it's strange. I don't know why you'd keep it on there. They were just lazy and never bothered. So it's not a huge, it's not a huge security issue because if you put your stuff for testing or staging purposes on a server from years ago, why would you take it off? It's always good to have a backup here and there. So again, not a big deal, nothing nothing earth shattering there about security. At the time it was discovered to me around early February, it was very early on. So January, 2020, it was discovered. Okay, so in January, they had all this Unreal Charted 3 and The Last of Us, the first game on their servers, just, just hanging out, which again, is not a big deal. It sounds strange. When you think of how big that the data is for those games and dev builds, because dev builds are not compressed, they're not um, they're not made efficient. 
Uh, so it would just be lying around. I don't know why they would do that, but hey, again, everyone has all kinds of builds lying around in multiple servers of, uh, of software development, so it's not a huge problem. Uh, come March, keys and data were saved somewhere around one to three terabytes. That's a lot of data, though I can only say one terabyte for sure. So it sounds like they, they were using multiple servers, and this just happens to be one of them for whatever purpose. They were trying to dump The Last of Us in an effort to get the, that game's key as Uncharted 3 had The Last of Us 1 material. So sure, The Last of Us 1 had The Last of Us 2. No idea in the end, but come April, things got spicy. In April, all the leaks of story were validated by the footage posted. So this implies that the leaks in April came from the leaks that were stolen in January and someone was holding on to this for all this time? That's a little strange. Why would, why would they release it months later? Do hackers just download data and don't care? Usually they would, they would go, oh, this is interesting. So why did they hold on to this data for so long? They need to acquire a dev kit to play it. They have to you know, have proper methods of constructing this kind of content so they couldn't test it. They couldn't figure out what it was. Maybe. It sounds strange that to go through all this waiting when you have the data. What were you doing with it? In April, all the leak story came out. We were validated with the footage posted. I cannot speak for the text post with story, but I can say that the dates from discovery and disclosure match with time stamps in the footage as well. You can check yourself bottom left of all footage. Yeah, so if you see the, the dev builds of the video of The Last of Us 2, all the numbers on the left-hand side show dates. Come May 30th. I think, he mean, things, I think he means come April 30th. So obviously we just turned April 3rd right now. It's today. So uh, I think he means April 30th. Late at night, the source that disclosed this to me stated that the key had changed. So Naughty Dog for sure knew how to resolve this issue and no keys work with the bucket IDs now. Okay, so that means that they changed the security or deleted the old keys and generated new ones or just deleted the old keys. So that would be standard practice. It's like, oh, change all of our primary and, and secondary keys or, or private and public keys and make sure no one has access to the FTP server or the S1 server or uh, whatever, whatever servers they're using on Amazon. The individual that spoke to me is a direct source for this compromise, but is not, as far as I'm aware or can tell, not the one that leaked this material. Okay, so this is this is curious. So someone knew about this, but it's not the person he's addressing. So that doesn't invalidate all the stories that we've heard. This is just more information that someone who knows of how this could have been done or was done and might know the person involved. So it doesn't it does not invalidate the story of bonuses or this or that that weren't being paid to workers. It's just another person because they're not the actual leaker. I say this because even they were weirdly skeptical about that and the Night Dog employee leaked things because they were mad. I was I'm still skeptical of that as well, but my opinion doesn't invalidate it. There are some holes in that story as well. But the thing is is not to say one is more superior story. It's what's the most prob what's the greatest prob probability of one of these things happening, and neither one invalidates the other. It could be both for all we know. Uh, plus, uh, Naughty Dog or Sony also implied that there were multiple people involved in the leaks, not just one person. And this is simply a guy who knows of it. He didn't actually do the leaking. So there's now there's even more characters involved. There's more factors. I've been watching this for about three months now. Really, three months. I had no idea there was a leak going on for three months. And after speaking to a first-hand source from this, my only conclusion is they, and their circle, did not leak it. Okay, so there's now even more hackers involved. This just keeps getting bigger and bigger. There's more people involved. They weren't involved in the leak, but shared info relating to what I described, and another party pr proceeded to leak such material. So we have two parties. The, the, the hackers or, or group of people who know how to do this and knew of people who did it, and then the actual leakers themselves. So here we have the actual leakers who did this stuff, the technical stuff, the second group that this person's talking about who know these people or know of these people, and then there's a potential third group that is associated with the first group who are the workers, who is potentially a disgruntled uh, employee. This is not the first time this has happened in circles like this either to boot, 
I trust their word as, their, as a first-hand source for this happening, but I trust that they're not dumb enough to leak it. But whenever they leaked everything to get such is another story. In regards to the dev kit nonsense, yes, you would need a dev kit to do this. And given that it's relatively easy to get one, yes, yeah, you have to buy one. It takes money. So if they had it, they have to actually then be a licensed developer. So you sign up to PS4 uh, dev kits or whatever the um, the industry standard is. You have to then spend money on a, on a license and get the hardware and the software. That could take time. But you, generally speaking, you have to be part of an actual organization to do that. You can't just say, we're a new uh, studio and uh, we want this. You have to actually prove yourself to the the publisher of the license. This is not very much of a problem. No, it's not It's not that hard. It just takes time. And you have to prove, you have to go through an interview of some sort. You have to actually go through these things. Not like it was back in the day with like Xbox dev kits where you just you know sign a form and that's that. I can say the circle for the vulnerability owns such hardware as well. I've seen the photos. Yes, it's not a big deal to own the hardware. What's the point I'm making? The point is there's plenty of room to argue that a Naughty Dog employee is involved, but from the evidence which I had submitted to Naughty Dog back in February. Okay, so this person knew about this and sent the information to Naughty, Bo- Naughty Dog in February? Why would you do that? Who is this? Who is Pixel Butts? Why are you doing that? Stands to point to a Naughty Dog made security vulnerability that was exploited, not an angry employee. Yes, but we, you just told us that the people involved didn't do the hacking. The people involved know of it, that someone else did the hacking. Well, I will not give names. I will say this. I've been around. I know leaks. I listen. I watch. I keep tabs on things. I know about this for months and kept quiet publicly. But since it's blocked out now and news coverage confirmed what I've known, I decided to say so publicly. Okay, fine. Cool. I have no affiliation with the group. I have no materials with the leak from the leak, and I'm not going to. I had my ass bitten once. I don't need a second round of it. But putting the truth out there is important because even though you still have people saying it was a Naughty Dog employee, well, either way, I mean, we're still waiting on the information from Sony telling us what's what's going on, who did what, what's true and what's false. And obviously, if they're suing someone, that means they know who it is and they have to keep their mouth shut before a, uh, they start lit- go through, going through litigation. So it makes sense that Sony's not saying anything, but if they're not going to do anything, then what's the big deal? Don't believe what sounds like the juiciest story, even though it's what you want to hear. Sometimes it's really that boring. Hackerman exploiting a vulnerability created by the company's own games to gain internal access. Yeah, but th- the question is, if they've done it since January, what were they waiting for? Yes, it does take time to get a dev kit, and you have to talk to some people, you have to sign some forms, you have to pay some money to get it for the license. What were they waiting for? Why just now? You know, it doesn't take months it doesn't take a quarter of a year or, or a third of a year to, to get a dev kit. So why why are you waiting so long? And as one final note, the person that spoke to me asked me about my previous legal run-in. It's primarily what led to this discourse to begin with. I do not advocate or suggest stealing and leaking. Preservation is important, but don't do it without through stealing. So he knows what's happening and all the people involved are probably doing things illegally. And he doesn't want to share that information. So that's nice to know. I mean, uh, there are exploits for every security breach and every uh, security solution out there. And uh, it's just common stuff to protect your things. I'm just very skeptical of the timing of the leak. Why did it come out now? Why was it, Why didn't it come out sooner? Because there was no due date as far as I remember. So what, what happened now? Is it because of the coronavirus? Is it because people are, have nothing better to do? Um, is it because Naughty Dog released the, the, the due date, or rather the release date for May or June, that now they're doing it? It's strange. I'm not sure. I would have think the faster the better once you get this information of what a horrible product they're going to make. And that would cause Naughty Dog to second guess themselves and go, wait a second, what are we going to do? But, hey, this is news. This is news on The Last of Us 2. Thanks for listening. If you guys think this is true, please leave a comment. I'd like to know any other information you might have regarding the story. It's always ongoing. It's happening every day. So be sure to leave a comment. I'd like to know it's news. Have a great day, guys.